G'day everybody, welcome to my workbench. This is the Martian 2. It has the Emax uh, 2300kV motors. Uh, Bill Heli 20 amp ESCs. Run cam. PV camera. Maze 32. HI LT200 VTX. Standard Fly Sky receiver, six channel receiver. Uh, I've been enjoying flying this. I've been flying it with the uh, smaller five inch props. I'm trying to get my skills up. Uh, the tries and the quads, they handle really nice. Uh, not, as, not as much speed as the twins, and they drain a lot more power as well. So I'm trying to get my skills up with the twin props, a little bit harder to fly. And I'm hoping to get away with a lighter battery pack because they don't draw as much power as the tries or four blade props. One of the things I've done with this design is I've uh, changed the position of my receiver to the top, top plate. And because it's PPM just have the one plug so when it comes time to do some work out comes the plug off comes the receiver sweet as most of my VTX's I run with just the standard stubby aerial I take it out of its packet put a bit of heat shrink over the top I find the, the vision over 200 meters is really good I get to go behind some big trees you've seen in the I've seen in my videos it does break up a little bit, but doesn't worry me. I have a ferrite ring. Uh, run as many loops as I can with a tiny piece of wire. Try and reduce the interference uh, into the power side of the VTX. I'm running this run cam power distribution board and I'm not using a cap. Uh, it's working quite well. So I got the five volts from the five volts from the power distribution board running the cam and then that drops itself with one wire back to the VTX. I've had problems in the past running the signal cable through the power distribution board. So I haven't tried it this time, just not going to try it again. Just run the cable straight back, keep it away from all the high voltage. Uh, high voltage and high amperage. Uh, one of the things I plan on doing is dropping the top plate down. Maybe it sits way up here. You can probably drop it 10 mil. That drops the battery down. You want to try and keep your battery down near the props. The idea is the centre of gravity should be around the same level as the props. Some people think the lower the centre of gravity the better, not me. You hang your battery underneath the props and then when you t go to turn the battery wants to swing out and make you take wider corners. The lower centre of gravity the idea comes from cars that keep trying to lower the weight, lower the weight down to the closer to the ground, closer to the ground. Uh, with quadcopters you don't need to go down below the axle height, down below uh, where the props are. Uh, back in the day, McDoan and Honda and the RG500, Honda did a really good job of lowering the weight on these motorbikes. They lowered it so much that it it uh, reduced the handling of the bike. They put the weight so low that it was below the axle line. And when he took a corner, the bottom of the bike wanted to flick out from under him. So from that I know that you've got to go close to the axle line, not below it. And that happens to be on a quadcopter the props. And where the props deliver the power and deliver their thrust is right here. So putting it lower and lower. Can you imagine going lower and lower, lower and lower? Put your centre of gravity down here. Yeah, I've got my battery pack really low. The centre of gravity is real low. And I'll act like a pendulum. When you go to take a corner. That battery pack 
hanging way down underneath your cod will swing out. It will swing out. And this is what's happening at the moment. People are putting their battery packs underneath and uh, yeah, compromising their handling of the quad. Uh, one of the other mods I've done is uh, stuck some wire on the X260 connector. It's this way when the battery uh, goes flying in a good crash, the, this part here won't rip on the XT connector that's anchored to the board. Uh, it'll straighten itself out this cord and then unplug itself rather than trying to rip the XT60 connector off the board. Going to be flying it around with the little bees for another couple of days to get a little bit of the final tuning in so I can tune it as good as I can with the little bees. And then I'll be jumping on some of these next generation in ESCs and then I'll be able to get a real, real good comparison between little bees and the acons. Once that's all settled down then I'll be putting on these angled motor mounts. These ones here are aluminium to help disperse any heat and they've got a number of holes here to mount up to your arms so the motors point in the right direction. So looking forward to doing that too. Another video. What video I'll be doing soon is do do, do get out of the way dog is this I've actually done a little bit tonight. And this, what I've been doing out here is, uh, during the day, testing out different cameras. So, uh, that's, that's one of the cameras I've been testing out. This is another one I'll be testing out. And another one. So I'll be testing out this little puppy here, the run cam, and a bit of foxy here too as well to test out. Been doing a bit of recording on this, of the adjustments for this run cam. I was quite surprised to found out that it uh, comes preset to work with a. CRT monitor, cathode ray tube, something that hasn't been made in over 30 years. I was really surprised to find out that it's uh, paired up for a cathode ray tube. Catch ya.